What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to save your work or images in Photoshop. Now this is very easy to do. This works of course both on Windows and Mac. First go over to File and go to Save As. Once you click that, it gives you an option, uh, a window of course here to save as. You can of course rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and rename it to tutorial and you of course can rename it to whatever you want. Choose a you know destination to where you want the image to be saved to and under format this will allow you to save your image into a specific, uh, specific format such as a Photoshop which is a .psd or you could go over to .tiff which is a more recommended uh, way of opening Photoshop files which um, a TIFF is pretty much a TIFF extension or image is uh, it works better you don't have to use Photoshop because if you do if you go if you select Photoshop you know as a .psd um, you you have to uh, have Photoshop installed to see it so you could also just select JPEG and you would just click save the matte, you can choose none. Quality, this depends on whether you want uh, a smaller uh, file. You can see right there, and it gives you a preview of uh, the file size. Uh, it's going to be low or maximum, which is going to be 1.3 megabytes, which is not a big difference. Or you can go maximum, which is going to be 1.7 megabytes. The format options, keep it at baseline, you know, standard. You could go optimized, but it kind of reduces the file size a little bit. But if you want the best resolution, go to baseline and click uh, click OK. Uh, or the most recommended way um, is going over to File and click Save for Web. This is a better way of saving images in Photoshop because uh, uh, for if you're uploading it to the web, of course. So let me go ahead and minimize this a little bit so you guys can see what I'm working with. So preset, uh, you could go over to like JPEG. Uh, or you can go with a PNG or a GIF. If you want a JPEG and just a standard image, just select JPEG. Um, and then our our preset right here, it should be just JPEG. Uh, and then here you can choose the quality uh, of the image. So you can go low and go all the way up to maximum. I keep it at high quality 60 because it, it keeps the file size down, but it keeps the quality good. So uh, great, so it doesn't uh, decrease whatsoever. Uh, optimized, uh, convert to sRGB. You want those colors to pop out. If you don't have it, it's not gonna look uh, as good. So just keep that in mind. And the image size, you don't have to save the image uh, of our uh, canvas size. So you can just actually reduce it to 1920 uh, by 1080. And uh, percent is, of course, 75% of our canvas size, which is 256 by 1440 or 256 by, yeah, 1440. Quality is bilinear. And I just got a text message. Um, so, yeah, over here on the left, you can see uh, our size. And if you click this down here, this little arrow, it gives you the time of how long it's going to take to upload to the web. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I have mine selected here. I don't really know which one's which, so just ignore that. And uh, so yeah, you can just click save, and it gives you it, it brings up the window that I showed you earlier, and you can choose the destination to save it to, and you can click save, and you have saved your image. So uh, so that's how you save your uh, photos in Photoshop. So if this helped you in any way, please leave a rating below, and I will catch you guys on my next video.